What the fuck did I just watch? Okay, so The Loft. The Loft is about these five friends who own this expensive ass condo which they call The Loft and they use it in order to cheat on their wives. They bring mistresses, girlfriends, anything they can just to get away from what they have at home. Cause for them, not hotels or credit cards because it's untraceable that way. Until one morning Wentworth Miller walks in and finds a dead chick on the bed and only these five friends could get inside The Loft. So now they question, oh, who killed this girl? As they question each other, it becomes this murder mystery that honestly fails in every aspect. I'm just gonna throw this out there. No background on this movie because I had no idea what it was even about when going into it. But seriously, The Loft is one of the worst movies I have ever seen since I started reviewing movies on YouTube. And I've seen a lot of shitty shit in my days, but The Loft, oh my goodness, it's definitely on the top of my list. Just everything about this movie, the acting, writing, dialogue, and pacing is just... Oh, it's all over the place. And this movie has some pretty good actors like Carl Urban, James Marsden, Wentworth Miller. Now, if they ever made a biopic about Eminem, Wentworth Miller, he's the guy to do it. Ever since I saw him in Prison Break, I've always thought that shit. He, he looks like Eminem. And you got that asshole dude from the drop, Matthias, what's his... Th I honestly don't know his name. And you've got Eric Stone Street from Modern Family. I think he's one of the best parts of the show. The dude is hilarious. I've seen it with my two eyes. But this movie made all of them look like grade B porn actors they found on the street. And a huge ass part of that had to do with the shitty script they were given. Hold on. Oh, the script. Yikes. Because how this movie was filmed and edited, the dialogue between the characters, this is how it went. Here we go. Oh my god. Who killed her? Oh, I, I don't know. It's, it's one of us five, though. Well, someone must confess. But who? Who did it? That freak out happened. I'm serious. Oh, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, well, I wasn't here last night. But it could be him. He's got a thing with handcuffs. And the movie would cut to a backstory to build more suspense, you know, to give the audience more evidence that, oh, maybe that person could have killed that girl. And these backstories it still made me not give a shit about the characters. It was way too predictable because me and a lot of other people around me were like, yep, that guy didn't do it. And just the way some of them act, they were so fidgety. I'm like, something's off about this character. I don't know. Maybe they had something to do with the murder? Oh, guess what? They had something to do with the murder. Who would have guessed? And the story at times, because there are so many characters being shoved in, you're like, who are you now? It just makes you not care about these characters even more. They could have just spontaneously combusted. You wouldn't have cared. Actually, that would have been a better movie than this piece of shit. Like, all of them just go like, pew, 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 pew. If that happened, the movie would have ended sooner and the ending would be more satisfying. So The Loft had shitty characters, acting, dialogue, just all around garbage. Towards like halfway, I was so bored. Some people actually left the theater. So I was happy because it wasn't just me who found The Loft was an abomination to cinema. Okay, so now right here, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna have some major spoilers. I'm gonna tell you the ending and who killed the girl so I can save you like two hours of your life. Well, it turns out that Wentworth Miller and Jeff the girl with the serum that supposedly instantly kills you like fast painlessly I've never heard of that shit before and dickhead asshole from the drop finds her dead on the bed she wasn't dead all the way she was kind of moving her fingers a little bit so you know she was still alive and he takes a knife and slices her wrist badly because according to him it makes it more dramatic he seriously says that shit and I'm like yep Fuck this movie. So now he's on trial for murder and the real slim shady, he jumps off a building, kills himself. All's right with the world. And I bet you're asking, why did this all happen? It doesn't matter. I told you who killed the girl. Have you guys seen The Loft? What did you guys think about? I'm so sorry that you saw this movie. Whatever your thoughts are, leave a comment below. And as always, there's a link for my Twitter and my Facebook in the description below. But in the meantime, I have to get going.